Greetings, friends, and welcome to Now You Know, your place to learn anything about everything. I'm your host, Alexander Schotterly, and I am starving. Let's see what we have on the menu today. Uh, could someone give me my menu? Oh. All right, let's see what we have on the menu for today. Frozen pizza, chicken nuggets, and fries. I'm a sophisticated individual. I don't want to eat like a college student. Spam. Oh, ramen noodles. I guess it'll do, considering it doesn't specify what kind of ramen it actually is. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. On this episode, we're diving into the world of ramen noodles and the way they have become a mainstay in today's modern cuisine. But the best way to show the history of ramen noodles is to actually have some ramen noodles. We greatly apologize for whatever that was. Let's just move on. As Al's patiently waiting for the Now You Know Diner to make his meal, here at the Birdhouse, we learn how to do it ourselves. If you ask many people about what they consider a ramen dish to be, you will get a variety of answers. So today, we are going to make multiple ramen dishes to see which one is the best. Starting with is generally considered the most basic form of ramen, instant noodles. Now there are several different brands of instant noodles, but we are going to demonstrate the classic Nissin Top Ramen Chicken Cup that normally runs for $1.18, perfect for anyone in college that is balling on a budget. There are multiple ways of cooking instant noodles, but to live it up, to name the instant name is what we're going to do. This may take a minute. One D of real. combinations in one three by three potato starch and sodium nitrate. It all started with one man, Ando Momofuku. In the late 1950s, Momofuku was walking the streets of Japan when he noticed the entire families would line up in the blistering cold just for a bowl of traditional ramen. He started to realize that ramen took way too long for the poor working people of Japan to make consistently. So he set out on a mission to make ramen noodles accessible to everybody. It wouldn't be until 1957 that he would turn his house into a noodle making workshop without any actual prior work in the noodle industry. One day, his wife was making tempura fried shrimp by using piping hot heat to zap the moisture out. So he thought, hey, I can do that with noodles. And after many trials and errors, Momofuku created what we now know as instant ramen noodles. And after creating a flavor profile in 1958, the Nissan Ramen brand was born. And they were very, very popular. They spread around Japan like wildfire, but Momofuku didn't stop there. He started noticing that offices would serve their workers instant noodles in styrofoam cups. This allowed the workers to eat wherever they were and then simply dispose of the cup afterward. That gave Momofuku the idea of making what is now considered cup noodles in 1971. These were originally served in vending machines with an area to place hot water directly into the cup. And those vending machines made instant noodles even more popular, with one vending machine serving over 20,000 cup noodles a day. The fast-paced, on-the-go feel of cup noodles made it a no-brainer to bring to the United States, and soon the entire world had their own brand of instant noodles. But Nissan is still the largest distributor of instant noodles in the world. So after years of trial and error, Momofuku was able to take a dish that was too much work to make into something that your average college student will be making every day in no more than three to four minutes. Speaking of food, I've been waiting on my ramen forever now. So I'm out of here. Yay! We are back at the birdhouse with our Nissan cup of noodles and we're going to see how it is. So clearly this is a college staple and I'm interested to see how good it is. Mmm! You know, pretty salty. I got a little corn, a little carrot in there. I like it, but I think it's time for a road trip. Katie? Katie? Oh, man. I was really wanting some ramen. I know just who to call. A little longer than a few minutes later. 
Yeah, Cook at Home Chefs, what can I get you? Hello, would you be able to make some ramen? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can handle that. Wonderful, thank you. Finally. Welcome to the Now You Know Diner, your place to learn everything about our favorite dishes. I'm your chef, Will Murphy, and today we're showing you how to make our very own signature Now You Know Ramen. First, broth preparation. To prepare your broth, start with one tablespoon of oil and cut up one onion. Saute the onions in the oil until they become translucent or start to brown. Then we will add the following broth ingredients. Four cups lower sodium beef broth, chicken broth, or vegetable broth one tablespoon soy sauce, one tablespoon light brown sugar, one or more teaspoons chili crunch oil or crushed red pepper flakes, one teaspoon fish sauce, optional, one teaspoon toasted sesame oil, one or more tablespoons of peanut sauce. Bring all of these to a boil and then add the veg. We're using one green or red pepper sliced thinly, carrots, shredded or finely sliced baby carrots, zucchini, cut into coins and then sliced in half. We'll let this return to a boil and add our noodles and protein. We're using two three to three and a half ounce packages of ramen noodles with the spice packet discarded. You can use leftover sliced chicken, beef, shrimp, pork, tenderloin. Today, we're using shredded chicken and shrimp. Once our noodles are cooked, add the final veg and then the toppings. We have one handful of basil leaves, which are optional, one tablespoon of fresh lime juice or lime wedge, one third to one half green or red cabbage, finely sliced, and any additional toppings, such as a halved hard-boiled egg, cilantro leaves, sliced jalapenos, mint, or whatever else your heart desires. And once you've placed everything, you've created your very own Now You Know Ramen. Let's go and find Al and actually try it out. Thank you so much, Will, for getting here on such a timely manner and allowing me to finally get some uh, ramen in my system. Absolutely. So, all right, I believe we are good to just dig on in. So how did you uh, figure out how to make this wonderful dish? So ramen is such a great base. Think, think the way that spaghetti works, but very few people would stop at spaghetti by just making the noodles and putting them in a bowl, which is where at home ramen, it's so easy to go up from there. So we've gone with some bell peppers, the cabbage, shredded carrots, some other things that give it more texture in the way that you would add tomato sauce mm. or pasta sauce to a, a traditional pasta. And so by going this route and doing a little fridge clean out, some of the shredded chicken, some of the shrimp are easy things that you can add in from what you have around and they all give a great character to ramen. Wonderful, yeah, it tastes amazing. I'm definitely getting the like, spice and kick from some from the, some of the elements and mm -hmm. I didn't know how I'd feel about the cabbage but it's honestly it's doing pretty well on this. It gives a great crunch and it's the very last thing that we put in and it, it, it's really kind of the body of the thing because the ramen noodles are so soft. Um, some of the other elements in here like the shrimp will hold up really well to that too. So the, the cabbage, the shrimp, and the carrots are giving us that textural sensation in addition to the flavors we have going on. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely getting that as well. Yeah. What do you do with the lime? This will kill the um, heat that you get off of the first first bit of spices. And so it's a good way to ease your body into spicy food. Plus, I love to just sit and eat limes. Yeah, limes are great. Oh, just full peel and all. I'll take that part out, but. So you've been a fan for ramen of ramen for a long time. Why are you so interested in it? I'm interested in it uh, from a, I guess from a personal background. My mom used to do a Thursday night tradition of, uh, we would make tr like, fancified ramen and watch like a Studio Ghibli film. Uh, back in elementary school that would have been watching Ponyo Weekly. It was also a, a fun thing because my father would work like away from home for most of it so mm -hmm. on Thursday nights we would get to sleep downstairs in the living room and we put on a film with ramen or uh, in recent years it's been like California rolls and like homemade crab rangoon so you know it's a it's a nice taste from home and I'm you know what a great throwback. I'm really happy to have brought it to you today. Yes. Thank you so much, Will, for coming in and uh, having me, you know, finally have some wonderful ramen. It's, it's been too long. Absolutely my pleasure. I wonder what Katie's up to. Are you tired of the same boring old TV? Tired of watching the same recycled content? Then try Gen 2! 
Gen 2 is your favorite place for all things gaming and tech related. Come check out our wide variety of games and reviews, catch the latest in gaming and tech news. And if you call right now for the low, low price of $0 down, you will even get 7 free, yes free, of our very own handcrafted shows and stories for your viewing pleasure. Don't miss out and call now to get the entire Gen 2 package for free! Gen 2! The full package, just for you. Alright guys, we are here at the Shin Paradise restaurant rating their ramen noodles. So we're about to head in and see what they have to offer. Uh, my name is Tuang Zupum. I'm from Burma, and this is a Burmese restaurant. So we do have uh, some uh, Asian restaurant, like um, pho and ramen noodles, and most of the fried rice and stuff like that. So. Okay, so we have our egg, we have our, I think it's a crab or a fish roll, and then we have our pork, our green onion, and our roll. I'm so excited to try this, you guys. Holy cow. It kind of looks like spaghetti. <laughs> mm. Chef's kiss. Whoa. I'm not even kidding, you guys. This is good. Okay, and then what is this? I have no idea. We're about to try it. It kind of looks like tofu. Mmm. Okay. Is that the bamboo? I don't know. I think that's the bamboo. It kind of tastes like a water chestnut, but I know I love it. It's so good. Going in for this cute little pink fish slash crab slash I don't know what it is. Or what is this called? The, uh, the cake thing, fish. It looks cutesy, so... <laughs> How is it? Describe the flavor. Mmm. Ooh. I have a feeling I just ate something that I don't want to know what it is. Well, Katie, that is a kamoboko, or Japanese fish cake. Fish cakes are a staple in Japanese cooking, going all the way back to the 8th century. They're made by grinding fish and adding a bit of flour. The fish cake here is called narotomaki. The star-like shape and the pink swirl make them most recognizable in America. But they aren't the most popular. Henpen is considered to be the original fish cake. The simple white square is made of ground fish, which is then whipped into a fluffy texture, shaped by hand, boiled, and then they're ready to eat. Well, now you know. I know, I'll get off my soapbox now. Oh! Fish cake. A fish that is made of cake or like... <laughs> My chopstick skills are one out of ten, y'all. But we're making it work. I've been I've been a chef for probably like seven years, so a lot of experience, you know, a lot of food uh, come from experience, so probably that's why, you know, our food is a lot better than you know, other restaurants around here. What do you want people to know that are thinking about coming in and stopping by? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I guess we don't really have Asian restaurant here, so, you know, it's good to try something new, you know, especially for St. Joe. There's not really a lot, a lot of Asian restaurant here, so probably that, you know. In today's episode, we learned about the world of ramen noodles. We got to taste the many ways in which ramen is prepared and learn more about the origins of instant noodles. I got the opportunity to make some homemade ramen with our signature ramen expert, and Katie brought the Now You Know crew to try ramen at a traditional ramen shop. So if you didn't know much about ramen noodles, well, now you know. Thank you so much for watching this Momofuku episode. <laughs>